Hello everyone! In today's video, I am going to teach you how to knit a hat the beginner way. The first thing is, of course, you gotta have knitting needles. And then, of course, you gotta buy yarn. For beginners, I highly recommend buying the thick, soft yarn with the thick knitting needles. And the reason being that for this type of hat, you really want a soft yarn material. And thick knitting needles and with thick yarn is going to make your knitting process a lot faster. Now my technique of casting on the stitches is a little bit different than any other tutorial that I've seen. But I learned this when I was in junior high school and that's how I have been casting on. It's super quickly. I don't have to go back and forth. I just use one finger and then wrap it around my finger and then pull it against the needle. And that's it super easy um, and then after I cast on I just start kneading. this is like the simplest way to cast on that I learned during cast on don't forget to measure the length that you want to knit for your hat for regular adults I believe it's usually eight to nine inches but because my brother has a really big head and I'm knitting this head for him can't seem to buy a head anywhere so I decided to just knit one for him um, because he's a really big head so I would have to uh, make sure my length is around 9.5 inches nine and a half inches to 10 inches and to just make sure the hat will fit him Okay, let's start the knitting. So when you're knitting, you want to make sure you poke one knitting needle into the loophole and pull the thread out around that needle and then pull it out. And that's it. And you just keep on knitting. So after knitting continuously, um, this is what it looks like. And I just want to show you a different angle of how I continue to knit. Um, and uh, I usually wait until baby Jaden goes to sleep and then I will knit for like maybe half an hour to an hour. And I would knit pretty quickly. This was probably two days of work, so probably an hour to two hours of work and that's it. Just keep on knitting. Okay, let's show you how to cast off. So what I would do is just knit like how you knit and just poke that needle into the loophole and pull it out. Poke second time into the needle and pull it out. And then here's the important part. You would poke the other needle 
into the first loophole that you created and then pull it out. Let me show you again. It will be two loophole into one. And then you continue to knit again. So you would always have two loopholes and then you would always pull one on top of the other one. And that's how you cast off. You just keep on knitting two loopholes and then take one off. Keep on knitting two loopholes and then pull one off. And that's how you cast off until you hit the very last loophole. When you hit the very last loophole, you just pull rest of the yarn out like this. You want to make sure you leave enough yarn for you to connect the head together, and then you would just cut the extra yarn. Now this looks like a scarf now, right? I'm going to teach you how to make this easy piece of scarf into a hat. You fold the scarf into half and then you would sew them together. I didn't have a yarn needle since I was traveling, so I just used my knitting needle to connect them. If you have a yarn needle, it would be so much easier. All you have to do is just kind of sew it together. But since I didn't have a yarn needle, yeah, I had to use my uh, knitting needle and try to sew them together. But all you have to do is sew the short end together, and the rest of the steps are just easy peasy. Alright, so let me finish sewing this together first, and then let me show you what's going to happen next. Okay, so we're finished sewing that short side together and what we're going to do is just pull the yarn thread out and I do have another side of yarn thread that I left in the beginning and I'll just tie them together to make sure they're secure. Alright, so it looks like this. It's all sealed together. So we're going to close up the top of the hat to make this scarf looking thing into a hat. Alright, this time we're not sewing the openings together. What we're doing is just pulling the thread out. Um, see if I'm pulling the thread out inside. And then I will pull it out. And 
then I would pull the thread out outside. Um, so it's just, it's kind of like sewing, except you're not sewing anything together. almost done. You see that um, the, the yarn thread is, you know, creates um, a way to pull the hat together. I don't know how to describe it, but this is like, it, it's like a very easy way to do a closing. Um, and this is also why I recommended the soft yarn, because if you have a hard yarn, it's going to be very difficult to pull the thread together or to create a closing shut um, for the head to close. So, um, this yarn is a, it's pretty soft, but it's not entirely soft enough. So I had to work around it to make sure that the closing is um, uh, spread out and make sure that it closed all the way up for my brother. See how you pull it together and it creates a really tight closing on the top. And then you would just tie it again um, to make sure that it's it's secure. I didn't cut it because I want my brother to try it on. Okay, so we're almost done. But once you have um, the person try it on and make sure the hat fits them perfectly, you can go back and just make sure everything is secure and tie them together. Um, double knot, triple knot, however you would like to tie it, it's fine. Just as long as the um, the the yarning thread is hidden in there and it's not poking that person's head. And when you're done, you just make sure you cut the extra yarn off and that's it. Now this is what it looks like when I tried it on. I think it would it looks pretty good for a girl to have to. And then this is what it looks like on my brother. Um, he loved it. He thought it was really warm and fuzzy. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye!